The Shah of Iran was unusually and refreshingly open. You know, several interviews. When I used a phrase he didn't like, he clearly enjoyed the chance to throw it back at me. As you know, I have been across the Gulf, the Gulf that you call Persian and they call Arabian. Why do you call, call it Gulf? You have been to school, haven't you? Yes. What, what was the name that you have read during your school days? Persian Gulf. All right. Ask. <laughs> but they do call it Arabian Gulf. Well, they can do many things. None of the Shah's comments raised hackles like his blast at the American Jewish lobby. Its influence, he claimed, went all the way to the top. Surely, Your Majesty, you're not telling me that the Jewish lobby in the United States pulls the strings of the presidency. Not entirely, but I think even a little too much, even for Israel interests. You think the Jewish lobby in the United States is too powerful for the interests of Israel? I think so. Sometimes they are disturbing the interests of Israel because they are... They're pushing around too many people. Well, why would the President of the United States pay attention to that lobby? They are strong. Strong in what sense? They are controlling many things. Controlling what? Newspapers, medias, Your Majesty. banks, finances, and I'm going to stop you. There. Well, now wait just a second. You really do believe that the Jewish community in the United States is that powerful? They make the media reflect their view of foreign policy? Mm -hmm. Yes. They do not report? We do not report honestly? Don't uh, mix things, please. I don't say the media. I say in the media they have people. Not the entire media. Some newspapers will only reflect their, their views, yes. The New York Times, for instance, is owned by the Salzburger family, who are Jewish.